Good morning, folks. Today we'll be looking at a star eating a planet. We'll revisit pre-earthquake electromagnetic anomalies and see a confirmation about the angular rotation of Earth being controlled by the Sun, with implications for earthquakes and more. But we are starting with our star, and we find the coronal holes turning through Earth-facing heliographic longitudes. That solar wind is on its way to Earth and should arrive this weekend. We also took an M3.9 solar flare this morning of medium duration from the new sunspot group on the north. We can watch that flare in 131 angstroms as plasma erupts and the flare crackles in its wake, the bright portion. It does appear a small CME was produced, but it's not heading our way. However, the active region has been flaring and a larger complex of sunspots will be turning into Earth-facing position here today and tomorrow. There are several large groupings that represent the first major sunspot surge of the sun's current cycle uptick. So we've got coronal hole streams on the way in the solar wind. Solar flares continue erupting and will be on CME watch for the next couple days, in addition to watching for continued sunspot surges this month. The three-month half cycle of the 5.9-month uptick sequence has been expected this month and is likely here. Let's go out to a sun-like star 15,000 light years away that has eaten a hot Jupiter close to it. An incredible amount of stellar brightening was seen, along with a surrounding cocoon of cooled gas and dust from both the stellar atmosphere and the disintegrating planet. And just like that, the planet was gone. Good paper here revisiting the pre-earthquake magnetic field activity. In ULF, ELF, and VLF frequencies, the L-shell magnetic fields connected to both the epicenter and its magnetic conjugate across the equator began ringing anomalously. I'll once again reiterate, it'll be lovely when all these hundreds of papers on the pre-seismic signals get put into actual practice. Lastly, folks, we've seen this before, but it's great to get an update. It is confirmed that solar activity impacts the angular rotation of Earth, which has implications for the length of day and crustal stress. It is already known that earthquakes play into this angular rotation, but also that the rotation likewise has a counter effect back on earthquakes. So we can confidently say the sun's activity impacts the Earth's rotation and it affects earthquakes in yet another way beyond the flare energy, magnetic fields, and plasma interactions. We greatly appreciate your support. Same message as yesterday, eyes on the sun. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.